Hi, I'm Pastor Judy and I am so thrilled to be with you today. Uh, we have wonderful two desserts for you made out of the crescent rolls. Uh, we're going to be doing a few of these to show you how to do a main meal, uh, how to do appetizers, and how to do the desserts. So keep these in your refrigerator. They also have one that doesn't have the little perforated um, sections in it. We're going to use the ones because they didn't have it when I went, uh, but we can pinch those together and make a solid sheet so we're still fine. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Pam because this is going to be like a pie. Uh, and I'm going to put that in here because we want to be able to get it out when the time comes. And then we're going to open this up and we're going to uh, put it in the bottom. Half of it in the bottom, half of it on the top. So we'll go ahead and get these. And you want them to be a little bit room temperature so you can work with it a little bit better. Um, let me see if I can get it open. <laughs> I'm a pro at this, just so you know. So we'll take these out. I'm going to put just a little bit of flour because we are going to roll this out just a little bit. So we'll just go ahead and get this so it doesn't stick to the board. Now we have the whole sheet. And we're going to take this and we're going to open it up easily. And we're going to take off half of this. Okay, let's put it on here. So here's the four, and then this will be the four that is going to go on the top. Now, they have it, like I said, that doesn't have these little perforated uh, sections in it. But we're just going to kind of scooch these over. That's a new word, scooch. Just in case you didn't know that, scooch is a new word. We're going to scooch these over and just kind of close up this perforated edge and the section because we don't want that. If it doesn't stay, it's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. But if we can do that, um, that'll make it a little bit easier. Now I'm just going to fold these over and I'm going to put a little bit of flour on this because I'm going to take this and I'm going to roll it out just like you would a pie crust. Okay? Got that? Get that little perforated edge in there. So then we're going to roll it just so it's going to fit in my, uh, the bottom of my pan. Now see, they've done all the work for you. That makes it nice. Take this. I'm gonna roll this out. Got that. Don't act up on me here. Put this over here. Because I want it to go rectangle. Okay, we're going to take this, roll it up, and we're going to put it in the bottom of our pie or our cake tin. Just take this and scooch it down in there. Remember our new word, scooch? Just kind of push these together, kind of up the side a little, however it works. Because we're going to go ahead and we're going to put um, pie filling apple pie filling, but we're going to put our cream cheese to make it a Danish. Going to put it in the bottom. Okay, now we'll put our cream cheese. We'll take that and we're going to push this down in here. This is going to be wonderful. Bake all up and be wonderful. Now I'm going to go ahead and press this down in the bottom. All of you know what a Danish does and it's got the cream cheese in it. So we're just going to go ahead and push this down. I'll put a little bit of milk on my fingers so that way I can work with it. Get this all down. And as it cooks it's going to melt. So it doesn't have to be flawless. Put the rest of it in here. This is an eight ounce cream cheese. So if you were gonna make a double one of these and just kind of calculate. But this one will make a nice size. 
Okay, put my hands in milk. Push this all down. Wonderful, wonderful. Remember, we have our scripture for today. It's in Galatians uh, 6, 9. Better is a handful with quietness than both hands full with agony and trouble. Think about that for just a while. It says it's better to just have a handful and have peace and quiet than to have hands full and have agony and trouble. So think about the things that you have. You know, so often we, we think we don't have enough. And just think, if you just have harmony in your home, that you have family that get along together, what a difference that is. And yet have bunches and bunches and have nothing but agony and trouble. So we're going to go ahead. We've got this pushed down plenty enough. And we're going to open up our can of apples. Now this already has the cinnamon uh, in it. So some of it you might have to put a little more sugar and cinnamon. But this particular brand has plenty. And we're going to put a little bit of brown sugar on the top of it. Okay. Alrighty. We're going to take these and put them in here. And that look good. Not a thing wrong with that. We just fill this up all over your cream cheese. Remember, you can go on our web page and look up all of the recipes that we do. Just find out what you're wanting to look for. This would be the apple danish. And you just look that up and pull it up and, and you can go right along with the show uh, again. This one's like a big clump. I'm not going to put it in there. I want it to be cooked. Mm. This one's a big old hunk too. I'm not going to do that one. Something so when it bakes that it's all finished proper. Okay. Doesn't that look good? Just imagine what this all baked up and the flavor of it. Okay. This was a half a can. Uh, as you can see, you could take this and what, with your fixings, you could make two of these easily. So I'm going to put just a little bit of brown sugar on the top. Mm. Love it, love it, love it. You put this in the oven. The guy's out mowing. He'll be right in as soon as he smells this cooking. So anyway, so now we're going to take the top that we had. Fold it out, and it's going to go on the top like a pie crust would. Get it out here. And like I said, these are all done, ready to go. Let's go ahead. Now, this doesn't matter if these are open on the top because you need air vents anyway. So let's just go ahead, put a little flour. We'll roll it out a little bit so it's big enough for our container. Mm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take these off and I'm going to lay them here. See, that just covers right up there. Don't have to if you don't want to, but this is going to kind of like leave an opening for your pie to steam. Mm. I'm going to tear this and just kind of fit it in there. Let's cut it. There we go. All righty. Now we're going to take this just like if we were going to make a pie, and we're going to put a little bit of milk on the top. Remember, this needs to be whole milk because you need the butter content in order for it to brown. But we're just going to put the milk right over the top. I'm going to scooch this down so it's down in the corners. Bring this down. That way it's all going to be secure. All right. This is so forgiving that no matter how you do it, you're going to be fine. This is a great beginner's 
somebody if you've not ever done it you can put this right in and have a wonderful dessert okay all righty so this is your first one and I'll take these I'm gonna put them in the oven in just a little while I'm gonna set it right here for now but we're gonna bake this so you can see how well it bakes all righty now we're going to do um, a cinnamon roll or a, a brown sugar and butter so we do the same thing we take the crescent and open it up and divide it only we're going to put it all together we're not going to divide it and then we're going to make the cinnamon rolls and watch for these on sale because they go on sale and just take them and keep them in your refrigerator because they'll last a long time okay now this one we're going to have to go ahead and try to get the prefer the uh, sections pinched together mm. so we'll pinch this all together and again if they don't stay it's okay not gonna hurt anything now like I said they have these to where this doesn't this perforated edge a section isn't in there it's all one piece but there must have been a run on it that's all I can tell you all right so let's take this and put it just so we can flatten it out just a little just take our rolling pin and just to have a little bit of a straighter edge because we're going to take these and roll them okay now we're going to take butter and we're going to take and put butter all over the top of this with brown sugar you can take this you could put raisins in this you could put pecans um, just about any kind of a nut that you would like you could do Nutella you know the the uh, chocolate spread you could put this on it as well just let your imagination run with you so let's go ahead and we're going to spread this because we want this all covered with butter and if you don't want to use butter you can use margarine that's all right butter is a little expensive so don't put a stress on your household by going and getting butter if you don't normally use the whole butter then don't do it because it's just giving it a cushion here to put your brown sugar on mm. and then we're going to make a glaze to go over them when they come out of the oven now this is according to how you do it it would be about a half a stick of butter uh, if you want more butter than that you're welcome to do it but just to give you a general idea this is the one can um, of the crescent rolls and uh, here, here is uh, half a stick of butter because once these bake you want them to be real moist so the butter is what's going to make it moist remember our scripture for today it is in Galatians 6 9 better is a handful with quietness than both hands full with agony and trouble how many times have you said something done something and you just go oh if I could just take back the last 20 minutes all of us have been there trust me so my little grandma my would be my yeah my grandma uh, would be my mom's mom and uh, they used to farm and they would go out on the farm and they would she would get up in the morning early early they got up about four o'clock in the morning and they always she always made yeast buns and I am telling you those yeast buns were this tall and I have my whole life tried to get yeast buns that tall and it just doesn't work you know I never was interested really then I wish now I had her recipe on how to do that 
So anyway, but she always made a huge breakfast, was an excellent cook, and I try to do the things that I know that my grandmas would be proud of me. Now we're going to take the brown sugar. Remember, there's lots of butter on there. And let's go ahead and sprinkle the brown sugar. Uh, you can take this as well, and you could put jelly on it. Maybe strawberry jam, um, boysenberry, uh, blueberry, you name it. And you just do it the exact same way. Take them, roll these out. Um, put your butter on it, then put your jam, and then put regular granulated sugar on top of them. Not the brown sugar. So we're looking good. Always keep your things in your pantry that you can use at a moment's notice. Keep everything in tight containers so they don't dry out. There's nothing worse than going to the pantry getting brown sugar and it's just, you could build a house with it. It's that hard. Um, but if you just, I'll tell you a little trick. If you get sh sugar like that, all you have to do is put it in a bowl, a, a covered bowl like a Tupperware bowl, put a piece of bread on the top of that brown sugar, put the lid on it, don't do anything to it, just put it back in the pantry you come back the next day, that brown sugar is as soft as it can be. Don't believe me, do you? Well, that's the way it works. It's the moisture in the bread that softens up that brown sugar. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take from the long side and we're going to start rolling it over. I could have turned it the other way, but we're still going to get there. Tuck it under, roll it, tuck it under, roll it, tuck it under, roll it. Keep it right there at the edges. Roll it, tuck it, roll it. Here we go. Almost home. Mmm. Almost to the end. We'll go right on over because we're going to take this bottom, this here, and we're going to pull it up and we're going to tuck it up like this. Okay? Because we want it to be all tucked in. Isn't that neat? Am I hired? Okay. Isn't that a beauty? Now take this and tack it. Tap it down, get the moisture in your fingers, give it a little tuck. Okay, we're going to take this baby, we're going to cut it up. I'm going to bring my pan over. All righty. You can see the butter and the brown sugar. See that? Now we're not going to put them far, far away because uh, we want them to kind of touch so the sides stay moist. Give them a little bit of room, but not giant amount. Okay. Again, remember our web page? ALMV.US. I'm going to tuck these down a little. Just go and enjoy. Hey, when they bake, they're going to look wonderful. There we go. All right. You can see how easy these are. And you could get up and bake them in the morning, then put your glaze over the top of them. Would be a wonderful breakfast. Almost home. Okay. We want these to be good and brown. One more row to go and we are there. See again, like I said, you could put raisins in these, pecans, um, cranberries, you could put cranberries in it, 
just a lot of different ideas that you could could do all right well listen I'm gonna pop these in the oven and I am going to uh, get them all browned and ready for you and when you come back uh, we'll get the glaze and put on it and we will enjoy I'll see you in just a minute the Camelot a magnificent place locals describe as a castle Located in the beautiful San Jacinto Valley Holiday Retirement. Experience living like royalty as a resident at the Camelot with independent retirement living. Enrich your life with a warm, inviting sense of community and nothing to worry about but deciding among a full calendar of social activities, outings, and special events to participate in. Or you just might want to sit back and join in on a weekly fireside chat with friends and staff. Enjoy delicious and nutritious food as a chef prepares three meals a day for you. Whether you want a studio, one or two bedroom suite, they all come with a kitchenette and a refrigerator. Individually controlled heating and air conditioning with each suite along with weekly housekeeping and linen services. As you experience the beautiful interior with six atriums throughout the building, come and enjoy the unique grounds of the Camelot. Independent retirement living and pet friendly, one of over 300 holiday retirement communities across North America. If you are that independent retiree and ready to simplify your life, we invite you to discover all that holiday retirement has to offer at the Camelot. I've had the same friend since I was a little kid, but this year some of them started playing with these other kids. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's cool making new friends and all, but they weren't like us. They were, you know, different. And I heard my big brother saying some pretty bad stuff about people like them. But they seemed pretty cool, and we had a pretty good time. So, well, uh, maybe my brother doesn't know everything. Hey, Carlos, come on, we need you. Don't be afraid. Be your friend. Hi, I am just so glad to finish up this dessert for you. Excited about it. Uh, these are the little um, butter and brown sugar pinwheels and remember you could put pecans in these, you could put raisins, you could put cranberry, it's just a multitude of things that you can do. But this is how they came out and uh, I'm going to make a glaze to go over the top of them and then this is our apple, uh, in fact this puppy is hot, uh, an apple uh, with cream cheese in the bottom wonderful these are all made out of the crescent rolls and a wonderful wonderful way uh, for you to fix something for your family quick and easy we're going to go ahead and make a glaze to put over everything and i'm going to put oh i'm going to say three quarters of a cup of uh, powdered sugar if you need more you can just go ahead and do some more i'm going to put oh maybe about two tablespoons of milk this is whole milk and we're going to just stir this around. If we need a little more, we'll put a little more. Um, I want to let you know, too, before I put these in, I put a milk, uh, and a whole has to be the whole milk. Uh, I just took it and brushed over the top of these, and that's why they're so brown and turned out so nice. Same thing with the apple danish. I put the milk over the top of it. Remember, I brushed it on. So I just wanted to remind you to do that before you put them in. Because what happens is they'll bake and bake and bake and bake, and they won't brown. So this, this the milk is what makes it brown. So I need just a little bit more milk. So let's add another tablespoon. Just do a little bit at a time because once it goes thin, then there you are. Now, what you can do with this as well is you can put uh, lemon juice. Uh, if you don't want to use the milk and you would like to have a little lemon, or you could put oranges, take and squeeze an orange and put it in this um, powdered sugar. That way it would give it a nice flavor. There's just all kinds of ways uh, that you can do this. So let's go ahead and get this. I'm going to taste it, make sure that it's got the right consistency and that it doesn't taste like powdered sugar. Want to be careful of that. So let's just go ahead and stir, 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 and then we're going to glaze. Okay, remember our scripture today is in Galatians 6, 9. Better is a handful with quietness than both hands full with agony and trouble. Keep that in mind. Sometimes we complain, complain that we don't have enough. 
and uh, we need to be thankful for what we do have and that our household is at peace and quiet. So let me taste this and we're going to glaze all these. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. All right. Now I'm just going to take this. Remember to go to our webpage, almv.us. You can get all of these things that we've done today. Now this will set up and get a little bit of a crust on it. And this will be wonderful. Takes a little while, maybe 10 minutes or so for these to, but just know that they will set up and they will get uh, a little crust on the top of them. So anyway, it's been so good to be with you today. I always look forward for us to being, ha being together and having this time together. I appreciate you coming and being with me. I don't ever take you for granted that you have chosen to come and be with me. If you have anything that you would like uh, to write me, maybe a recipe or something, uh, I got several wonderful things uh, from people uh, saying how much they enjoy the show. So I am just tickled about that. Well, as you can see, now we're just going to take this and just do a little bit over the top. Just like, doesn't have to be a whole bunch because you've got the apples in there. It's just a little glaze. So there we go. You could put a little vanilla in this as well if you wanted to. So anyway, there it is. I'm so glad that you were with me today. This is the apple strudel with the cream cheese. And these are the butter and brown sugar with the glaze on top. Thank you for being with me. And I want you to know I look for you every time we can be together. I thank you for coming and I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining Pastor Judy Stent. If you'd like to drop her a line, send it to Food for Body and Soul, P.O. Box 5310, Hemet, California 92544. Don't forget to visit our website, almv.us or AbundantLifeMinistriesOfTheValley.com.